Hello, this is Greg Beaumont. I'm a data and AI technical specialist with Microsoft. And in this video, I'll show you how to move a workspace in Fabric to one of the new Azure Fabric capacities. Now, I think there's two scenarios where this would apply. One is that you have content which has been created with a Fabric free trial, and that free trial might be expiring and you need to move it to a more permanent capacity. And two, if you have Power BI premium workspaces and you're looking to move off of that premium node and onto a Fabric node, as long as both the premium node and the Fabric capacity that you've created are in the same Azure region, this video will also apply to that scenario. When you're migrating Fabric content across regions, it introduces some additional complexities, which I'm not going to cover today. For the vast majority of scenarios where you've either spun up a Fabric trial or you're just moving from a P SKU to an F SKU, which is premium to Fabric, most of the time I would expect the content to remain in the same region. So here in the Fabric Administrative Portal, if I move down to Capacity Settings, you can see I can move to the Trial option and you'll see I have some content which has been pinned to a Fabric Free Trial. You'll notice that my trial is expiring in 14 days. So I have to get that content out of the trial capacity and into an official Fabric capacity. Now I did create a separate video which is linked in the description of this video which shows you how to spin up a Fabric capacity in Azure, assign administrators, and then assign it to a brand new workspace. So again, if you wanna see how to spin up one of these Fabric capacities, click on the link in the description. But here you can see under the Fabric capacity header, we have two Fabric capacities available. One is an F2 and the other is an F64. For this demonstration, I'll use the F64 because that, at the time of this recording, is the minimum capacity required to get all of the different features of Fabric, including Power BI, Copilot, etc. So you'll note that the name of that node is SH Fabric Node 1. Now I'm going to move to a workspace which I've previously created and I've been using for demos. And in this workspace, I'll go to Workspace Settings, License Info. And you'll see that this workspace is assigned to the trial version of Fabric. So let's hit edit and let's switch that over to Fabric Capacity. Select that new node, the SH Fabric Node 1, which is in West where the free trial exists. And then I'll hit Select License. And at this point, we are now in a fully functional F64 node in the West region, and I'm not at risk of losing my free trial content when my trial expires. Again, this same technique could be used to switch a premium workspace over to a fabric workspace if you're in the process of converting from P to F SKUs.